Hey guys, today we're going to talk about PSO caching, which is just an incredible, t an incredible tool that you can use inside Unreal Engine 4 and 5. Um, which, I mean, whatever version that you're using, it's going to be different for you. This video is specifically for version 4.27. Yeah. So 4.26 will be different, 4.27 will be different, and version 5 is definitely different. Um, I've gathered some links around here that I'm going to post them. Um, I'm going to paste all of them into the caption under the video, so you could, uh, based on the version that you're using, you can either go ahead with the version 5 or 4.26. In this video, specifically, we're going to talk about 4.27. Um, so the first thing that we are going to go just go to this link onionalgamedev.org post PS caching in Unreal Engine 4. Um so let's go ahead step by step. So these two are the things that you have that you need to have already checked every time that you want to package the game. So we're just going to Make sure that these two are checked. Share material, share the codes, share material, native libraries, both are checked. Um, yeah. Um, this picture is old, by the way. So the next one is um, go to your project config Android, Android engine.ini, which in your case, you, um, I think you won't have it. Let's go to config and Android. Yeah, you don't even have the Android Android engine.ini. So you need to create one. If you don't have one, just go ahead and create one. Um, if you just create a um, a notepad and I don't know, if you just create, for, if, if you just Go ahead and copy, for example, your default default engine and just rename it to Android Engine.ini. That's not gonna work. I mean, it didn't work for me, by the way. What I ended up doing was to uh, I went to Unreal, Unreal Match Three and big Android, and I just copied the Android to my project. Config, and that's it. So. I'm just going to go to the Android engine and paste the following link into this. This is pretty important, by the way. If you don't do it, you're going to face a lot of problems in the next future steps. Um, what was it? Okay. That's done. So to the next part. So the next one is go to the default device profiles, which by the way, you can just go ahead and in the windows, um, device profiles and do your thing here. Like um, in the console variables in on, yeah, it's under rendering. R.shader pipeline cache, yeah. R dot shader pipeline cache dot enabled. So this is one of the um, most important code scripts that you need to be using. Um, um, so the project that I've used PSO caching is kind of, I can't really talk about it. So I have to just explain how this is going to work. I can't really show you the exact um, project that I have done this into. Um, so what I ended up doing was to use this script to simply use the PSO caching, simply um, load all the data into the uh, into the memory and or hard drive or whatever that's going to be loaded in, um, or to not load it for the devices. I mean, I I found out that there are lot, lots of devices in Android that aren't really able to load all of the PSO caching. By the way, so. This might help you. You could just um, set this to zero to just disable it completely or set this to one to enable it. By the way, what I ended up doing in the first case scenario was to just, uh, I just went ahead and copy all of this and 
into oh and if you don't have a device the de uh, default device profiles just go ahead and copy the final matches yeah simple as that see config and see you can just go ahead into android for example we're going to i'm going to show you how to do it in android though in case you didn't know so this is the base android uh, we're going to use the c -bars. so just right click copy it's gonna be here that's it so shader pipeline cache is enabled and Shader pipeline cache startup mode is set to one, which is which means that it's set to fast mode. By setting it to two, uh, it will be set to background mode, and zero means that it is paused, which you can find out in in this article. So you can find a lot of good stuff in all of the articles that I'm gonna paste the link for you. So make sure to go ahead and read them all there are a lot of important stuff in there a lot of useful stuff by the way they're promising that um, the PSO caching is going to be integrated into 5.1 5 um, as a default feature so I hope that we're not going to be needing this whole process anymore mm. so after copying and pasting everything that's needed it's time to go launch a project on our device which by the way I'm not gonna explain it you just I mean it's got it's gonna take a while to explain it all so it's definitely better to go watch this video it's he just explains it perfectly so I'm not gonna do that and I'm gonna explain uh, skip this step okay so now now that everything's success Full. Um, just launch a project on your device and just play like two minutes of your game and then go ahead into the you into your phone you for game the name of your project I mean, it's right here make sure that you have this file created here if it's not there then you have a problem you either haven't set up um this correctly or this one so I mean the way I've done it is the way I've explained it to you right um, so you, you I mean I'm hoping that you're not facing any issues but if you did I mean it's just bad luck right it's probably this one or this one so try other options I really don't know it's really complicated um, so if you have the file here then everything's fine you can just go ahead and play the rest of the game and if the game is really large then split it to I um, mean some sessions you don't really need to play the whole game in one session that's one thing to mention um, now that you've created everything you can just go ahead in the in this video he just explains explains everything pretty well or in this article or if you want to learn a lot of other things this article is really detailed but shortly there's just this uh, there are two type of files one is the files that um, you're gonna pull from the uh, from the folder inside your mobile folder or whatever that is and the other part um, the other type of file is um, the shaders, the CSV files that you're gonna pull from the from the cooked folder. So every time you cook the project, it's gonna put these files into that metadata pipeline caches. If you're not having this folder too, it's probably coming from the one of these two. It's it's, it's coming definitely from this. So there's definitely something wrong with the with this folder so make sure you um, copy and paste the Android folder from 
Unreal Match 3 because I made sure that this works. So if I mean you can definitely use some other full some other projects folders. It's definitely up to you, but make sure that this folder is right there and it's working just fine. And you have this script here. Um, let's see. It's still recording. That's fine. Um. So you have the um the CSV files and. Let's see if it's CSV. Okay, so here comes the other issue. So in the documentation, you're not seeing any CSV files. Uh, in 4.26, it's going to give you CSV file, which is great if you are using 4.26. Uh, in 4.27 and 5, it's going to give you CH. Oh, I'm sorry, SHK files, which it's not really that important because you know you have uh, you have the Unreal Engine Five documentation as well. But the thing is, it's neither this nor this one. It's something in between. <laughs> so that's where I come in, and I want to explain everything to you. So you are getting the SHK files, and what you're going to end up doing is to copy them, copy these and copy the files that you got from from the, the root of your mobile phone and then just copy them to your C drive and then there's one last step left and this is the most important one to build the files that are needed so I just went there and used CMD you're not probably seeing it so let me see CMD and just this is the script I created. Um, I will copy and paste it into the description if you want to use it, but you have to change it a lot. Uh, this description though, it will um, it will create the file that you're gonna need to build the game with DPSO caching. So this is where my UE4 editor uh, let's go CMD is and this is the script that it's gonna it's it has to include the expand and this is the folder as the documentation proposes it's saying that put them in your PSO caching folder in your C drive I actually use Unreal Engine 5 documentation for this part. Yeah, to um, create a PSO cache and uh, include the files in the PSO cache. And this will make sure that every file that does contain this will be included in the expand script or whatever that is. Uh, and also the files that are containing SHK. So the next part, um, this will be the name of the file that you're going to create. So here's a catch. In Unreal Engine 4, I, I believe it's SPC. But it's dot stable PC dot CSV in Unreal Engine 4.27, and it's something else, I guess, in 4.26, or it's the same. I'm not sure. Um, so here's the cache. This is coming from Unreal Engine 5, and this is coming from Unreal Engine 4. So it's something in between. Um, this is the destination of your file. So make sure that you have written this correctly so it's in my C drive PSO cache and this is the file this is actually the prefix as our documentation suggests um, this is the, the the project name that's pretty much it just pay attention to this SHK and this stable PC.csv and then you can just go ahead and add the folders that you got to your build 
folder and um, if you don't have a folder called pipeline caches just go ahead and create one there's no problem doing that uh, and put your stable pc.csv file in there and that's pretty much it if you have done everything correctly or every step correctly um, you should be having your PSO caching in your project which will definitely help your project like a lot it will it will alleviate a lot of hitching problems that you're going to have in your Android project. I mean, Android projects are really um, prone to hitching while something's being loaded or when the player is looking around, rotating the camera, something's um, being compi compiled in the background. This stuff happens, happens all the time. So with PSO caching, you can easily prevent those. And that's pretty much it. I hope it helps you guys. And if it did, please hit, hit that like button. And if you have any questions that you need some answers, answers to, if I can help you, I would definitely do. And um, if you have any ideas for my future videos or anything like that, please um, use that comment section. That's for you. Thank you.